Hi, I'm Dana Santis, breathing mobility and mind body coach in professional sports. I'd like to share five exercises to help relieve the impact of prolonged sitting. When we sit too much, it can create chronic neck, back, and shoulder pain, as well as posture problems. This pain can manifest as a level of stress that can affect us mentally as well. These exercises will not only help you move better, but also help you feel better. And you can do these exercises almost anywhere, like I am in my office today. So let's get started. These first three exercises you should be doing throughout your day to break up prolonged bouts of sitting. This one you might recognize if you do yoga because it's based on a modified warrior one. I call it a supported warrior with hip flexor release. Now your hip flexors are these muscles through here that get compressed and tight throughout the day while we sit. So that's what we're going to be focused on in this exercise. Let's start with this left leg back in kind of a shortened warrior stance and your forward knee will be right above your ankle. Now, when you step this leg back, you might already start to feel a stretch in your hip flexor, that's great, but we'll increase it by adding this arm. So here's what we do. We take the left arm, reach it up and over. You're going to feel these ribs come in and your obliques on this side tighten a little bit to help support you. That's excellent. We'll hold this for three breaths. Now, as you continue to breathe, so nice big inhale and exhale, just make sure you're not changing your posture. So I don't want you to Arch your back as you inhale, keep these ribs down. You'll feel your glute turn on. Let's take another breath. Long, slow, deep breaths. And then one more. Great, and then we'll repeat it on the other side. This next exercise is a supported windmill twist, and it's designed to help twist out all of that tension that we feel from sitting too long in a slumped over posture. So it'll release the tension in our upper body. You'll sit your hips back, place your forearm on the desk, and then it's very important that when you sit your hips back that you keep your low back locked. We're not going to rotate from the low back, only the mid back. Reach your left arm forward, rotate first from your shoulder, and then when you come all the way up, now we start to move from our mid back, but notice my low back stays stable here. We'll hold this for three breaths. And you wanna to try to breathe long and deep, so nice big inhale and exhale. As you're breathing, try to see if you can rotate maybe just a little bit more. Again, not from your low back, just the mid back. So when you inhale, maybe expanding a little bit more, and as you exhale, rotating those right ribs to see if you can get a little more out of it. One last breath. And then on the exhale, bring it back down. And then we'll come up, repeat it on the other side. This exercise will help you release all of that tension in the fronts of your shoulders and your chest that happens from sitting in our desks, being at our computers, looking at our phones all day. You'll just need a door frame so that you can place your arm with your elbow level with your shoulder against the door frame. And then this stays this way as we move our body into the stretch. So I'm just turning my body until I start to feel the stretch. You might not go as far as me. This I do on a regular basis because it's one of those exercises that you should do a couple of times a day to break up those bouts of sitting. So hold this for three breaths. Just make sure you don't have any pain. These exercises should not be painful. Take another breath. You should feel a release. It doesn't mean they're easy to do, but you should feel the release. Take one last breath. Excellent. And of course we have two sides. You want to do it on the other side as well. The 
these next two exercises are designed to be corrective for your posture and help you maintain better posture. So ideally, you'll want to do these once a day. This one is called Wall Angels. Now, it looks easy, but when you try it, you'll realize that it's actually quite difficult. So you're going to do your best to hold the position. Now, I'm about six to eight inches away from the wall with my heels, and then I just kind of sit myself into the wall with a slight knee bend. I'll take my arms up, and my elbows should be about level with my shoulders. And then I will inhale as I start to move my arms up and then exhale as I slide them back down to the original starting position. So that's one repetition. So with each breath, you'll do a repetition for a total of five. Now what I want though is don't go so high that you lose the touch point. So as I inhale and I come up, I don't want my arms to come away from the wall. I wanna keep them against the wall. So that means elbows, shoulders, my back is against the wall. Again, inhale up and then exhale down. It won't be perfect, but do your best. My head remains against the wall as well. So inhale up, exhale down. Now you really want to concentrate on your breath. I'm talking to you as I'm doing this. So I'm not concentrating on my breath as much. Really strong exhales to come down, bringing your rib cage down at the same time. So let's do one more. And then down. This final exercise I call the breathing bridge, and it is arguably the most important exercise, not only in this series, but in all of the programs that I create for people. So I would like you to do this exercise every day if possible. It will help not only with your posture, but your breathing and your overall movement. So to do this exercise, you'll get in a position like me, and you can use a foam yoga block between your knees, or if you don't have one, just roll up a towel. I just like something there to stabilize your knees and your hips. You'll place your hands on your ribs because we're really paying attention to guiding and monitoring our rib movement here. So hands on your lower ribs, and then exhale, driving those ribs in towards each other, back towards the floor, and down towards your waist. So treat this like a core exercise. Exhale. Feel your core turn on. Now don't breathe, just hold this, and I want you to lift your hips up, tilting your pelvis under so you feel your glutes turn on. Now hold this position and inhale. And notice we're breathing in through our nose and out through our nose, that's important here. The ribs move out, exhale, and the ribs are going to move in back and down again. And then inhale. Feel your ribs move out and then exhale. Keep maintaining this position. Again, inhale. And then exhale. Now, as you're doing that, you might notice that your chin starts to jut up. Use that exhale to draw your chin back in as those ribs move in back and down. And again, inhale. And then exhale, your face should relax. On those exhales, feel your core engaged though. Glutes stay engaged. Inhale, last time. And then exhale and you'll bring your hips back down. And then you can roll yourself up. And as I said, I recommend doing this exercise at least once every day.